Hey everyone, Innocent here, and today I'm back with another video. And guess where we are? We are at Such Gray Studio. Today we are doing a studio tour with the man himself, Such Gray. I should say the biggest tech YouTuber in Ghana currently. So we are going to um, explore the studio, what he shoots with, almost everything. You are going to see it from this video. So I would like Such Gray to introduce himself first and then we are going through the video. Uh, really nice being on Innocent's channel. So uh, as he earlier said, I go by the name Soji Gray. I make tech videos. So um, once you're here, you can check out my channel to see the stuff I do. I actually have a very small space that mm -hmm. I utilize to make my videos. And sometimes people do watch it and think it's a big space, but it's actually a small space. So when Innocent reached out and said he wanted to come see the studio, I was very happy to show him around. It's actually a very small studio, so I just hope he enjoys the tour because it's a very short and small tour. All right, so um, without any further ado, we jump right into the video. So we are starting right off. Um, uh, Soji will be taking us around. So Soji. Okay, so this is like, uh, this is my workstation actually. Um, this is one of my new editors. She's actually editing a video right now. <laughs> okay, so um, on this deck, I have my cameras and my lenses. Like this is the core of what I actually do. I actually shoot with a Sony A5100. And it has a flip out screen. It's very small. And to me, I feel it's very affordable. So I really love this camera. I actually have two. And I have the, a zoom lens, a Canon 28 to 135, and I have a Sony 50mm, I have a Canon 50f 1.4, and I have another 50 from Canon, but it's f 1.8. So these are the cameras and the lenses I have. Now up there, I do have like the caps I use in my videos, so I have them laid out nicely. Oh, that's nice. Yes. I actually like reading a lot, so... In my free time, I do read, so I do have some really amazing books here. My favorite is Guide to Investing by Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. And I do have his other book, Retire Young, Retire Rich. I have other amazing books. And yeah, some frames at the top. And then I have a DJI Spark. It's sports, but it's, no, it's not actually sports. The battery is sports, but it works. Okay. I need to get a replacement for it. So. So sometimes I sit, I actually sit here to make videos so you can have this nice place as a background when I'm making my videos. So this is like one of my setups. This, this is a very small room, it's a 2x2 two two room. So this is one corner. Then I have this corner where I can also sit to make videos. So I have this very nice wooden uh, thing I got from Acrylex. Acrylex is also. I got this from Melcom and I have this really nice frame. So I can actually sit in this corner to make a video so, so this is one so you go like here ready um, how do you start so so this is how i start what's up, guys? hey what's up guys i go by the name swatchy gray and welcome to another episode of quick view if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below hey what's up guys i go by the name swatchy gray and welcome to another episode of quick view i mean if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below we upload weekly so if you want to catch up with us you want to see the videos that i put out there Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that we can get along. You know, it's something I've said over and over again, so I can just rattle it out. And it's, it's fun to do. That's yeah. it. Consistency is key. Consistency is actually key. You know, like I've been doing this for like uh, the past two years and I've really learned a lot. Having to script videos, having to, you know, edit, to shoot, better the lighting. And I mean, I'm always learning new things. I always check um, websites, apps, try to better myself. And it's really paying off. Yeah. Sure. All right, so I could see this table here. You didn't tell us anything about this desk, the laptop, and everything. I, I believe this is where you edit. Yeah, this is this is where I actually edit. I have a Samsung Kev monitor. It's a 1080p monitor that I use in editing. And I mean, it's, it's pretty reliable. 1080p, you can't go wrong with Samsung colors. And I just love the way it looks. Right. And this deck, I actually designed it. In collaboration with my carpenter so I designed it I told him what I wanted and he just brought it to life for me so big ups to that guy he really he really killed it for me and then I use uh, 
uh, MacBook Pro, 2017 MacBook Pro. It's very reliable. I really like the Mac operating system and I use Final Cut in editing. As you can see, Ama Banaman is editing her vlog right now. If you can move to the monitor, she's editing her vlog right now and I mean, she's, she's doing a great work. Yeah, so she's editing. Beneath that, I actually have um, another laptop there. Okay. Can I can I just take this? Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, so this is like my 2012 MacBook Pro. This has a Retina display. It's pretty reliable too. It actually works. The screen is cracked, but it works. So I connect it to the monitor to edit sometimes. You know, sometimes you want to edit but uh, someone also wants to edit. For example, I'm almost edit a video and I'm also editing mine. So I can be doing this with the monitor and she can edit with the MacBook that has the working screen. So this is the second laptop I have. So we have one setup here okay. and then we have another setup here. So this is actually my third setup. And so I have a sofa here. I actually did this design myself. Like, you know, this, this thing took a lot of effort into creating. And then I have a very nice shelf. Here. So normally what I can what I do is I sit down here and then I make my videos and I just love it I'm very comfortable. I sit down and then I make my videos. So this is like the third setup I'm showing you guys and this is a very small room. So having to create three different setups It's, it's, a, it's a great thing like I mean, I'm always on Pinterest trying to get ideas and all that So is the sofa basically made for yourself like you're saying you sit here to make your videos or it's actually for others who are coming in like oh yeah so it's a multi-purpose sofa so okay. if i do have visitors they can come and they can sit here and enjoy themselves and then my editing station is there but um i can sit here and make videos too another thing i do like about this sofa is that it's modular so i can actually take this off and i can make it a bed okay so you know this is like a studio but i actually live here so mm -hmm. you know Probably, uh, I mean, not probably, I know I'm going to get money, I'm going to get a bigger space and then I'm going to expand, but for now, this is what I have. Like, I feel starting small is very important because you need to inspire someone there, you know? You don't need to have everything to start. With the little you have, you can start something now. And this is a small setup I have, and I live here, but I'm making crispy videos here. So, I mean, no matter where you are, you can start something. I just hope this thing inspires someone out there. If you're watching this and you want to start, just start, you know? You don't need to have a studio, you don't need to have some cameras and all that. Just start with the smaller things you have. And with time, it's going to get better. It always gets better. Yep. Super awesome. So, um, talk a little bit about this place, this small table over here and this light. Okay, so this is, this is, this is the table I, I normally do my overhead shots on. So, I just put the the thing here so it can be the laptop the phone and then i have like uh the light hitting it and then i do my b-roll okay. so this uh i do the over shots the overhead shots on this table all right now sometimes i use this light for i use this light for my background shots sometimes to give some glow to the background so there you have it but on this table i also do have a number of backdrops okay. as you can see i have a lot of backdrops from Acrylex and what I do is I take it I take it I take the, the backdrops out and then I lay them on this table and then I shoot. So if, if I want to change the color I can actually change and shoot. So it's very convenient um, yes. all the time. It's very convenient. And I do a lot of color grading sometimes when I'm editing. So I can it can look blue but when I'm editing I can change the, the look to say green or red or something without having to change the backdrop physically so that's something i've learned over time so i can easily implement colors in my videos so i use the backdrops sometimes big shout out to acrylex ghana for having this ready for us also i do have i do have uh what's it called i think this is a, this is my slider okay. so i do have a slider i use in my video sometimes so this is it there's actually carbon oh, fiber here. Really it's, it's really interesting. Cool. Yeah. Do you often use it in your videos or the not, not often, not often. I use it okay. not all the time. When I'm doing a review, like a smartphone review, I might use something like this, but I don't use it all the time. This is a lamp I also like using a lot. It gives this warm tone to my videos. And when it's I mean you can touch it to light it up, but I don't have it connected now. Okay. So it's one of my amazing setups. It's like a prop I use in my setup, so I really love that. And then I have this, um, what's it called? I don't know, like frames or something like that. I put, I really, 
I like using them in my videos, so I can adjust them, put them at different parts of my setup to just make the video come to life. Oh, okay. And then we have... Um, yeah, these, these ones are like, like personal stuff, creams and blah blah blah. These ones are like personal stuff. My glasses. Hey! Baby left his glass. Okay, so yeah. I have... This is, a, this, is a, this is a glass for my friend, but I do have Yeah, definitely glasses. one day you might be asked okay. by one of your subscribers to do a video on perhaps the cream, everything you are doing. <laughs> I will personally ask you to do a video on what you use on your. You know, my beard. Uh, I, yeah, I don't yeah. use it on my beard. I, I don't really. That one is natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's natural, okay. and I'm not really, you know, like I, I'm married, so you know, I don't have to impress. Oh, you other. married? No, not married. As in, like, like I'm, I'm already tied down to someone, so. Oh. I, I don't, I don't really have to always kill it, you know, for people. You understand, like for other people and all that. Yeah. So, I me, mean, I don't really take care of my beard or. I just have to look good for my subscribers. I feel they are putting effort into clicking the subscribe button, so sometimes you need to look presentable for them. So I do it for them. So um, I I believe that if you are if you are a cinematographer, if you are a videographer, your lighting is key. No matter how expensive your camera or your lenses are, if you don't have good lighting, forget it. So I invested into a lighting system. I really enjoy using this light. It has a diffuser, it has some light inside, and then I just love it. It's connected to electricity, so no battery. It can last very long once you have electricity. So yeah, this is the light I use. It's called the Impact Octaco 9. Yeah, that, there you have it. So it's, it's a very reliable light, as you can see. And I have some switches at the back, and it has our favorite colors, yellow and black or gray. Depending on how you see it, so is it very it's expensive? Like, it's not very expensive. It's around two hundred and forty-eight dollars. I mean, it's some people might call it expensive, but there are more expensive options. Looking at what it gives me, I think it's totally worth it. And it's something you buy once in a number of years, so it's a good investment to make. Finally, your final is about tech in Ghana. Your struggles as a YouTuber, tech YouTuber. How do you see the tech community in Ghana and? probably your final words. Okay, so my final words, tech, tech in Ghana, tech in Ghana is growing. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are a very small community, but if you want to join, we are open to, to, to accept new people. Like, I want people to talk about tech in Ghana, so I'm really excited when I see other people joining the community and I'm happy. I feel Ghana is growing, as compared to Nigeria, Nigeria is really there, but we're trying to get there as well. I want to say if you want to start, if, if it's your dream, if you want to start something, don't let anything put you down. Start. Be consistent. Always learn. I'm always saying you need to learn something new all the time. I'm always learning and I feel as Africans, if you're always putting effort into learning something new every day, I mean, we become better people, better versions of ourselves than who we were weeks or years ago. So, yeah, um, that's what I have to say. Thanks to uh, Innocent for taking time to come to this place. This is a very far place in Ghana, you know, but he came all the way from where he was and he came to do a tour of this place to show you guys the small setup. And this place is very small, but we try to make magic here. So, I mean, no matter what you have, you can always start something, guys. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And please go check out my, please go check out my channel. I've been talking for a long time. Go check out my channel. The it's, links will be in the description. The links are going to be in the description. Quick view by Swaji Gray. I make tech videos. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. You heard it all from Swaji Gray. How he does his things and the whole setup, everything that he has in his studio. I hope you heard of a little thing or uh, a thing or two. And then if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget also to head over to Swaji's channel and then you subscribe remember that you start with the little that you have irrespective of anything that you're having at least you're using a smartphone to watch this video so you can basically start doing something with that smartphone so that's it all for this video i hope it was helpful if it was don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to like share i'll see you guys in the next video innocent here and bye